for your picture that you're drawing. Um, if you need, if you feel like something's missing or you're looking for something to draw, think about these different things in your picture. Okay, we're gonna talk about line, which is, there's different weights of line. There's shape, obvious one, shapes. Color, uh, form, which is like three-dimensional stuff, like sculptures. Um, texture, which is like um, the way something looks um, as uh, a feeling of something. Um, value, which is lightness and darkness. And space, which is the space uh, between objects in the work of art, um, below, above, within, um, all different kinds of space within the art. So I'll just show you a couple of um, pieces of art to illustrate these things. Um, this one is by Van Gogh, and it's a bunny. It's a cute little parrot. And um, this one really shows a lot of texture. So as you look, it's it just you can feel what he's doing with the paint, um, which is really cool. Okay, um, and this. probably seen this one. It's a famous work of art. It's a dancer. Um, so if you walked around this object, it would look different all the way from different perspectives. So that's a form. That's a, let's look at this. I have this little drum here. Right? So if, if I turned this and you were walking all around it, it would look different from all points of view. So that's the kind of way sculptures kind of sculptors kind of think about their form that they're that they're making um there's another one um scale scale is kind of cool because it really just makes you uh really question like ooh, oh wait wait, ooh, 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 ooh. wait a minute that chick is huge and this farmer is really tiny so it just looks so different um so there's there's different ways to your your brain is just like wait a minute so here's another one <laughs> the beach and there's the people are so tiny but the flamingos are huge so it's just another way to um, create like another element of your art that you should really consider when you're thinking about um, your picture not to like stress over it but just to add to it okay um, here's one by Matisse I believe um, and towards the end of his life he had the ability just to cut paper. Um, he's an artist, however, he would paint most of his life, but towards the end of his life he couldn't he couldn't do that. So his form of art turned to, to paper and paste and he's still brilliant with his colors. Right? So this is like an example of shape. Um, and if you look here, the white space here, that's the negative space. Um, negative space is the in between objects um, within the artwork. Let me show you one more. This one, definitely, if you're looking at the white cat versus the black, um, the white cat could be the space that's in the shadow, or is it the black cat in the shadow? It's, it's hard to it's hard to explain, um, but it's basically, yeah, I think this one does it a lot better. It's the space that's in between the pieces of the artwork. Okay, so those were things I wanted you guys to kind of think about um, as you create your drawings. Um, so we want to remember line, shape, color, form, texture, value, and space. Okay, and yes, scale is another one, um, which we, we covered that too. 
So um, that's what I have for you today. Um, we will continue with our drawing um, in our next segment. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hi, y'all. It's me again. Um, let's just take a look at what I did um, earlier with the um, elements of visual art. Um, and then we're going to just, I'm just going to do a, a couple of examples of the drawing I did. my basics down. I'm going to add some texture. Okay, that means like some kind of pattern or something where you're going to kind of feel the water coming in. I am using purple in the water because if you look at water, there's a lot of different colors. So I am going to add different put there's my texture um, if in the background I wanted to do a sunset kind of <laughs> to repeat his head shape a little bit I could do that right? make it orange because the Sun and sunset is usually a different color than yellow and let me take some pinks add some pinks don't be afraid to add different colors because if you've ever seen sunsets they really do have different colors so these are my shapes too these are the other elements the shapes um Probably wet. And most seals are either gray or when you see them illustrated, really, they're a different color than what you normally see. So I'm going to give them some little dots. They're really cute. Okay, there we go. Here he is. He's very cute. And I'm going to do a little line here to show that the water is coming up. Kind of defines the space a little more. There we go. That gives you a foreground, a middle, and a back. Okay, so I'm going to color a little bit more in the back so there is a division of space. And these shapes are dividing the space for us. Okay, so that's you would divide that and then this is going to be your sun okay. so you got to play around see what looks good if it looks good it's usually correct if it doesn't there's usually something wrong <laughs> but the only way to find out is to try right so that's what we do we try now I just want to point out one more thing. These lines are going this way, so it's giving it a different plane than these. This is giving you your texture. 
texture, it's feeling closer, this seal is closer to you, this is setting it back. And see your eye just goes straight back. And it looks really cute. So I'm going to sign it. You always have to sign it. Well, at least I do. Here we go. Here's my seal. I'll turn it the other way. I don't know if I'm turning him upside down or turning him right side up. So no, I'm going to turn him both ways. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you're having fun. I still got a couple more to go, so keep drawing, okay?